could you believe this is LA Goo and this is Beauty Treats and this is Viseart. <laughs> hey guys, Colleen here and I'm back with another video. Um due to public demand. Um <clears throat> I decided to kind of like again mash two videos in one <coughs> excuse so basically what I'm gonna have here is a first impressions on the new LA Girl Pro Coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation and I got the shade warm caramel right and also the beauty treats palettes which um, based off of a YouTube video um, I can't remember the person's name but I will link it below because I want to give them credit for this um, the Viseats right so <laughs> it's a little crazy because when I saw the video I mean they literally side by side look almost the same so we're gonna see if they perform almost the same if <clears throat> if it does then for the people who get the benefit of watching this they would have saved themselves $80 because this costs six bucks online right six US versus um, eight tip right so <clears throat> I'm just gonna like do my brows and then we're gonna get on to the show I have already moisturized and primed my face I used because we're using Ellie Goo where did she go that's so weird I'm always like misplacing items when I'm about to film and I'm like <laughs> just as I need it I can't find it but I use the LA Girl Pro Max, you know, um, I would have featured it in videos before, but I can't seem to find it. It's probably somewhere, somewhere out there, <laughs> you know, oh, here it is, all the way in the back. So this is what I use to prime my face, and I think it's only fitting <laughs> to match them up, right? Um, <coughs> this, mind you, is a first impressions. I will if you want to um, post in the description below like when I wear it for like a full day how it performs just so you get the benefit but obviously it wouldn't be there at the moment but just go back to the video you know and you will see basically what the situation is that so let's do my brows first and then Get all right done. brows have been done um didn't put the gel as yet so i am going to go ahead with the eyes first and foremost so i think i'm gonna try the neutrals you know for this look so the left side <coughs> which will be your right i will do visit and the right side which will be your left i will do beauty treats right to do a side by side comparison and I think this is kind of cool because I mean if it's close enough I would say that is just a really good um deal you know for those who are on a budget or just don't want to spend 80 US now I am using again LA Girl Pro Primer in nude so this is like a LA Girl like video like I could just use oh I could do a one brand video I think I have enough stuff to do that I'll check and you know, if you want that just let me know so I'm using this oopsie to as a base right, and let me put some Laura Mercier loose setting powder on it because it's tacky and I like a 
somewhat matte canvas on which to do my shadows, you know. Just so this kind of like mattifies it, <coughs> basically. So let's just start off with beauty treats, right? So beauty treats, and we're starting this eye. All right. <coughs> It does come with one of these little um, sponge applicators. I don't use them. Um, I will link where I got this below. I got it on Amazon for like <coughs> six bucks. So I think I'm gonna start with this orange face as a transition. All right. Oh, it looks it looks promising. Yeah. Oh boy. Mm. So far, so good. I mean, I didn't expect it to be this pigmented, to be quite honest. I thought it would have been like blasey you know how cheaper stuff all right um i think i'm gonna use this kind of biscuit color on the brow bone biscuit color actually matches my <laughs> Alrighty, not bad. Let me see if I can find another brush to do the other side. Okay, <clears throat> with the Viseart now, I'm going to use. Now you can see that the Viseart is a little more intense looking than the Beauty Treats, but we will. I'll try what is the comparison to it. Probably use a lighter hand or something. Huh. This orange is not quite. Is this? Yeah. This orange is not quite as. It's different from this one as you could tell this one is certainly redder than honey beauty treats and it certainly packs a punch see i think i need to go back and put in a little more beauty treats on that one so let me get another brush and we'll see how best i could rectify that situation Treats. Where are thou? All right. Let me go back and what did you do? Treats. See if we could deepen that bad boy up a little bit. So far, Vizia is kicking beauty treats ass, but beauty treat is certainly given a good run for the money. <laughs> okay, let's see how best we could diffuse that. Mm -hmm. This one is still a little more intense than that one, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. All right. All right. So. Next one I'm going to try is this kind of orangey brown. It reminds me of <coughs> Makeup Geek's Coco Bear. Alright, so. Again, going to pack it onto the transition. Just to deepen it up a little bit. Alright. Alright. 
And I mean, it's not like exact exact, but it is doing pretty decently for a six dollar a six dollar palette. Huh? I think I saw somebody in the group say it's it's really bad, but I don't want to say it's completely bad. This one is actually looking more the brown hair looking more like the orange hair now. Funny, yeah. All right. Let's try. Okay, this is the Viseart here. <clears throat> Let's try this brown here. Well, I haven't touched this brown yet. Funny. I find it looking the same now, dude. Olio. Olio. Well, yeah, this looking, it's starting to look the same. Oh, you know what I forget to do? I forget to put something on the brow. So, we're going to do that just now, right, Olio? Hmm. <laughs> Is it me or it's starting to look very much the same? Hmm? What do you think, folks? Oh boy, this is interesting. All right, let me just zoom in a little bit. So how insane is that? It's looking almost the same. Not fully the same, but almost the same so I'm gonna try this deep brown now right this very deep brown Hmm. Yeah, so isn't that a nice smoke? So I used I didn't realize I wasn't recording there. So silly. I used this brown up here to smoke it out. And just wanna say for the girls who've been lost and after these these are so far doing quite well. And you know I'm very particular. I'm very picky about. So I'm gonna use this brown here now to smoke out this side all right let me get a smaller brush yeah it's doing a pretty awesome job thus far So tell me, can you tell this is Beauty Treats and this is Viseart? I can't. It's <laughs> starting to look very much the same. Like, seriously, dude. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> okay. Last one I'm going to do. I'm going to take the black. Put a little bit. Just put the smoke it out a little bit. All right, and just blend that bad boy out, and then I'll put something on the lid. <coughs> All right, next one. All right. For the beauty treat side now this is the real test because you know blacks are a funny thing in palettes so this is the black here which is not quite black it's more on the gray side so let's see if this could um handle its stories hmm 
I am liking this so far folks like <laughs> this is insane like really folks I am impressed with the beauty treats and I'm not saying that because you know money spent on stuff I really like to test out stuff and if I can find something that's cheaper of course you know kind of kicking myself in the bam scene because a hundred and sixty dollars worth of but I got those on sale no worries so right. insane right in Seen. Okay, beauty treats. Maybe this kind of biscuit color here, just to put on the lids, just to tie the look together. I still have to put like some highlight color here, so I'll look for the equivalent. So we are going to tap that on. I love a smoky neutral eye. <laughs> right. I need another flat top shader brush. <clears throat> Alright. And that was that brown. Let me see if I could find a similar brown to that. Hmm. Maybe this one. Or this one. Maybe this one. I don't know. It looks a little grayer though. So I'll kind of mix it. <clears throat> kind of mix it together. Oh, it's almost spot on. I mixed this and this to get a lid color that was similar. So it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Let me just get uh, use this now to try and for the to highlight my brow. Watch this on my top. All right, <coughs> and that is the eyes. So let me just line it, and then we will go ahead and do the foundation portion of it and we'll just do like um how we feel it looks even though this looks very kind of orangey but we will make it work right guys alrighty now this is the LA Girl high definition Love Whale Illuminator is in the shade Warm Caramel and they say this is for like it's full coverage smooth long wearing flawless looking finish now I've read some of the reviews on this and they've said that this is not necessarily for oily skin and I have combination oily. Oh, it does come with a pump. This retails for 10 US. Um, I have not seen Wonderful Wool or Pennywise or any of the drugstores in Trinidad and Tobago carry this. So this is like new, new. I <coughs> Sorry. I got mine off of Amazon. So let's go and pump this bad boy. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like oh my god, you know. Hopefully it it works. <laughs> I'm just gonna dab it with a damp beauty blender, and it's looking very orange, but we will see. But so far, I'm liking the eye look like. <coughs> Honestly speaking, I think we found a dupe winner. How cool is that, right? So, right now, as you can tell, it is very moist looking on the skin. Not to mention, quite orangey. 
I don't know, maybe I need like a lighter color. But let me just bring this down a little bit so it'll blend with my neck. So I can tell you finish wise I don't like the finish. It's a little too wet. <laughs> yeah, it's orange too. But we will see how we could fix this bad boy. <coughs> All right, let me just do my ears. All right, <coughs> so it looks very luminous. So I'm just gonna like tap it in the skin. Maybe if I got another color, it might be the bomb.com. <laughs> Right now, I look like a Oompa Loompa. But it's all good in the hood because right now the eye look is just... I'm just like in love. So I'm going to use the <coughs> Luma Decay Naked Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium Dark Neutral. <laughs> Oompa, Oompa. And this is a Jaclyn Hill favorite, but it really is a very good concealer. Like this, the NARS, and the Tarte Shape Tape are my all time faves. All time faves. So. We're just gonna put a little whoop paint on, right, folks? Mm. God, I need to eat dinner. Woo, that was my stomach. All right. <coughs> and taking the same beauty blender, <coughs> gonna tap that in. I think Sherry will be most pleased to hear that the Beauty Treats is a very good dupe for the Viseart. I mean, again, can you tell? Can you? Can you? Can you? I just need to... <coughs> it's not as pigmented as the Viseart, duh. But for six bucks, it is damn good. So, all right, so you see the highlight, hi highlighter kind of <laughs> evening out the madness of the foundation. But the warm caramel actually working. <coughs> well. It's actually working, folks. Right? Yeah. And I'm a girl who has to set. So again, Laura Mercier. And the reason why I'm not setting with Sasha because this is already very orangey. Orange and yellow is no bueno. So we're just gonna kick it color less. <coughs> today all right <clears throat> I'm taking the same damn beauty blender and we're just gonna press that in not too much bakage just enough to set that bad boy we just want to set today <coughs> we're baking we're baking too much today, you know.
Okay, just a little beak, right? A little beak. A little beak. In case in Trinidad, we like beak. <laughs> we like beak and anything. <laughs> Right? <coughs> Excuse me, wow. So, okay, let's put on a little liner, shall we? Mm -hmm. It's looking good so far, right, folks? I mean, minus the, you know. But I'm looking cute. -ish. Such big eyes. Mm. Alright, I'll put on some mascara. I don't think I'll put on lashes because it's late and I just don't feel like it today. <coughs> and this is the one I've been using lately. This is the Superstar, the L'Oreal. This is the one with the primer. You know, so I just prime these bad boys up. My thing is my lashes are long but they're straight so I hate that so I'm actually studying to get a lash perm because extensions wouldn't make sense. <laughs> my lashes are long even though I still want to try it out just you know <clears throat> maybe there's a way they could curl it too one time you know. I'm just priming the lashes, right? <coughs> and then put on step two. Yeah, yeah. Oh lord. Okay, so I have dusted away the loose setting powder. I have bronzed my face. I didn't want to like contour, so I'm gonna put, <coughs> put on some lipstick and we're gonna spray this bad boy and then we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're seeing, right? So. I will list all the products I used for this look in the information bar below so have no fear ladies. I'm gonna use my Smashbox lipsticks and this is in <coughs> Legendary. <coughs> I 
and I'm going to use Milani's um, liquid lipstick the lip matter more in devotion I like these um, but I find they're more comfortable to wear with a lipstick on the knee, just you know <clears throat> because they're quite dry for me I have dry lips just <clears throat> using City Colors matte setting spray I don't think it really keeps you matte but I want everything to like gel together and just a rule of thumb whenever you set your foundation just spray a little a little fix it spray or even water what is like your best friend because it just makes everything gel together you know like <clears throat> yeah, that airbrush look that you see people have that's water <laughs> some kind of setting spray something so all right so this is the finished look as the youtubers would do i find it so retarded but i think it looks nice and of course the beauty treats is really a treat for beauty lovers um because i know <clears throat> forking out 80 us for these it's just it could be painful it was certainly painful for me but <clears throat> i got it at sale price so i mean 20 percent off you know but if you don't want to spend that kind of coinage I do understand these are quite a good alternative I will link it in the <coughs> description bar below as well as the person who discovered this I want to give her credit you know because I didn't think of this on my own I saw it and said okay well let me try it out and you know pleasantly surprised <coughs> I got this on Amazon six dollars a piece I mean that is like a fashionista budget friendly dream like really this is not gonna bust your wallet and <coughs> I think the warm caramel does work for me of course when I add on concealer and stuff but it looks good it looks it looks good what do you think um, I will as I said previously I will wear this for a full day <coughs> excuse and give you my full review on the performance of it but so far it wears like pretty lovely I mean I can't tell that this is not makeup forever that's to tell you you know it has the same finish as makeup forever which is quite impressive for a ten dollar a ten dollar foundation i mean this is insane i mean all the <coughs> excuse the drugstore or budget friendly makeup brands are really killing it this year 2016 and i hope you know they keep up in the new year because i mean sometimes you just want to like look cute without busting your wallet you know what i mean so that's basically it for this video i just wanted you all to see for yourselves you be the judge of you know whether you could dig you know trying out these products or not i mean they're not gonna bust your wallet you know i find in terms of the beauty treat <coughs> i am very impressed it i can't tell which is which that's to tell you how cool so i am pleasantly surprised by how this turned out so 
if you want to see more videos like this first impressions and dupes I could even do one half high-end and one half budget you know just so you'll see that it really doesn't matter <coughs> what you have hiding in your drawers or in your kit is how you put that shit together you know what I mean so if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section below tell me what you think of the look and you know whether you'll be interested in trying it out and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed you know I would love to have you as part of my family and also please join the beauty chat room on Facebook we would love to have you there I mean we are well over 10,000 isn't that insane like I, my last video I'm saying we just reaching there we are well over 10,000 and that's literally like in a day you know that's so insane so I mean until the next time bye